Hi, welcome to my review on the upgraded six inch mini chainsaw. Um, there's a few things I'm going to include in this review. One is everything that's included. I'm also going to talk about how to charge and assemble and disassemble to change the blade. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you a demonstration actually on our old Christmas tree. So let's get started. Um, you can see what's included, an extra chain. And I'll tell you the two reasons I bought this particular chainsaw. One is it came with two batteries and the second, actually three. The, the second thing is it had a safety feature where when it cuts and it throws the pieces, it actually hopefully gets caught most of it in here. A lot of them didn't have that safety feature, um, but I like this right here. And the third reason is it has an extra blade that I, that can be interchanged for longer and bigger things. So not only does it have an extra blade, it has another chain, so it gives you double the life, hopefully, of what the chain is that's going to be used. So let me show you how you would change the chain. Um, it comes with everything you saw here, including this nut release um, tool. I don't know what you call it, but I'm just going to unscrew it in a counterclockwise direction. Um, just note that it, the chain, when you first start, is nice and tight. Eventually, it'll get loose, and there's a, a, a Phillips head screw right in there that you can loosen or tighten the chain based on what your needs are. So easily, I mean, you can see how easy that was to unscrew that, and I'm going to disassemble it now. So one thing you're going to have to do when you change the blades is this is where the screw and the tension can be adjusted. You need a Phillips head, which is not included, um, and you twist this. And what that does is it, that moves that little knob there to make it so this bigger blade fits correctly. So before the blade wouldn't fit because uh, the different level that that is. So then you just wrap that around. Now if it doesn't fit, you just have to readjust the the Phillips head screw. And then you put the teeth into the spots where the teeth go. It's a balancing. So now if the teeth don't fit there, you can adjust it, but it's pretty perfect for me. Now once it's in there, you want to adjust it, tighten it, so I'm going to pull the screw that way so it tightens that. So I'm turning it to the, I don't know, I guess it's clockwise. It tightens that chain. Alright, and then once on there, I'm going to put the top back on. And this can do tons of different things like gardening. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of random small branches on the bottom of some of my trees. I have a garden that sometimes needs a chainsaw to cut the weeds out, um, or even the weeds around a garden. So I'm going to tighten the tighten the chain. You want the t chain tightened so it doesn't fall off. Okay. So there you go, that's how you switch that blade out. Now, I do want to talk about the battery. The battery is going to, uh, once you charge it, which it comes with a charger, charge it for about two hours. It's going to show a red light when you start it, a green light when it's fully charged. You're going to take that battery and you're just going to slide it in there, snaps in. When you want to take the battery out, you just push this. Pull the battery out, and anytime you're working on a chainsaw, take the battery off to work on it. But there you go. I'm going to take it outside, and I'm going to demonstrate for you what that looks like. Oh, i got to tighten this chain. Alright, so the battery is in. Now, in order to use it, this is a safety button. You want to push that button in, press it in, and then you're going to squeeze this. Now, one thing I noticed is this is not tailored for the longer blade. So I'm going to have to remove that blade or switch blades out for demonstration. But if I were to leave that on, it's not effective. So I'm going to take that off or switch the blade out and then demonstrate for you. 
Okay, I put the smaller blade back on. This is what it looks like. And then one thing I wanted to note is this is ingenious. I didn't even realize this at first. But this is a screwdriver as well as a Phillips head. And you can just flip it in and use it for whatever you need to adjust on your product. So, all right, I'm going to head outside and I'm going to show you how to cut that Christmas tree. Just going to put these handy dandy little gloves on to protect and make sure you wear eye protection as well.